Hello everybody, today it's Thursday the 4th of March and our learning objective in SLAW today is to use information in a text to answer questions. Now before we have a chat about some of the questions we're going to be answering today, I'd like you to have a think about why people might think that hieroglyphics are terrific. In the text it says, a lot about Egypt now is known, thanks of course to the Rosetta Stone, which allowed archaeologists to read hieroglyphics, the Egyptian writing, which we think is terrific. Why might people think hieroglyphics are terrific? You can pause the video now and have a think if you would like to. Now here are some hieroglyphics. If you didn't know what they looked like, you do now. And maybe one reason why some people think they are terrific is because perhaps it's a bit like a secret code. Now, looking at those hieroglyphics there, I would have no idea what on earth it says. Maybe people think it's terrific because it's a bit like a secret language that in the modern day now, we don't really understand. But of course, it is personal preference whether you think they're terrific or not. Here is your independent task today. You have five questions that I'd like you to try to answer. You have a knowledge, comprehension, apply, analysis and evaluation question that I'm going to read through to you in a moment. What you can do is rewind this video back so you can read the text again because you will need to use your retrieval skills because some of the answers are in the text. The knowledge question says, what did they do with the brain? Comprehension. What helped archaeologists be able to read hieroglyphics? Apply. Why do you think they smiled when the waters flooded? Analysis. Can you list the steps of mummification in the poem? Evaluation. What is your opinion of the fact that they only mummified rich Egyptians? Now the bit underneath that's highlighted in red is an example of how you would answer the question in full sentences. Now that is really important and that's something that we need to start doing a little bit more. So there are your five questions. You can rewind the video back to check the text at the beginning of the video. Pause the video now and have a go at answering these questions and when you press play there will be uh, some examples of some answers that I have written. Good luck everyone! Here are my examples of how to answer these questions. You may have worded yours slightly differently and that's absolutely fine. Question number one, the knowledge question, what did they do with the brain? I've written the brain was thought to be useless and is thrown away. You could have just written the brain was thrown away. That would have been perfectly fine. Comprehension, what helped archaeologists be able to read hieroglyphics? The archaeologists were able to read hieroglyphics because they used the Rosetta Stone. Again, that was a retrieval skill you would have needed because the answer was directly in the text. Apply. Why do you think they smiled because the waters flooded? They smiled when the waters flooded because the soil became fertile, which made the crops grow, which meant they had food to eat. Now, I've used my retrieval skills there as well because I've looked in the text and I've taken out that the soil became fertile and the crops grew, but I've also used my inference skills because I know when crops grow, it would have meant that the ancient Egyptians had food to eat. Analysis. Can you list the steps of mummification in this poem? Now, we'd be absolute professionals at this because it's very similar to the task that we did yesterday when we created our comic strip. So, I have written... The organs were removed, the body was cleaned, the body was dried out with natron, the heart was wrapped but put back in the person's chest, the body was bandaged, put into a sarcophagus and a mask was made to cover the person's face. Evaluation. What is your opinion of the fact that they only mummified rich Egyptians? Now, it's perfectly fine if your answer is different to mine. What you would have needed to use, those you would have needed to use because to reinforce why you think something. That's the really important thing here. So my answer is, I think the fact they only mummified rich Egyptians is unfair because the poor Egyptians cannot afford to be mummified because it's so ex expensive. 
Well done, guys. I've really enjoyed sharing this poem with you and you've worked incredibly hard. Please send your learning to your teacher today. I'm sure they'd love to see how you got on with your knowledge, comprehension, apply analysis and evaluation questions. Fantastic job and I'll see you next week for SLAW.